students, so today we will look at our third video for science. So the topic for today is acid and base. Right? Okay, let's look at the uh, uh, experiment uh, uh, method. Okay, normally in an experiment, we'll have three types of variables. Uh, the first one is manipulated variable. Manipulated, which means that we can control the variable or we can actually change the variable. For example, the type of solution that we use or the type of food that we use, we can control or we can change it. Right? Then the second type of variable is responding variable. Responding variable is uh, the one which will uh, give you the result in the experiment or the result that we are looking for in an experiment. So in this case, maybe for acid and base uh, experiment, we would like to see the change in litmus color or the taste and so on. Right? Okay. And the last variable is constant or we call it control or fixed variable. Okay. This one will be fixed. Amount of substance used should be the same in every uh, different experiment, okay? Alright, so now, uh, let's look at the reactions on damp litmus paper. Okay, uh, normally we use litmus paper. This is uh, where this, uh, the chemical property will change color of litmus paper, alright? Litmus paper will actually change color to show the chemical property of the substance, right? Okay, for example, for acidic substance, uh, if you use damp blue litmus paper, it will turn to red if the substance is acidic but if you use red damp litmus paper it will remain as red all right okay neutral for neutral substances blue litmus remains blue red litmus remains red it means for neutral substance it does not change color okay and then for base or alkali okay what's the difference between base and alkali uh alkali will be base which can dissolve in water Alright, okay, so for blue damp litmus paper, it will become, uh, it will be remain blue, while for red, it will turn to blue. So basically, if it is acidic, the litmus paper will be red, and if it is base, the litmus paper will be blue. Alright, let's say this is the uh, diagram of, your, of, of our tongue, right? The front part of the tongue can actually uh, sense uh, sweet, okay, anything uh, sweet uh, food will be sensed at the, in the, at the front part of the tongue and then beside on the left and right of the sweat is salty okay it can uh, detect or sense salty food then after that sour on both left and right and at the end here at the back of your tongue will be bitter all right okay and then acidic substance okay acidic substance the taste will be sour Neutral, for example, like a water is like tasteless, uh, and then base will be bitter. Okay, then for acid and base, we have pH scale. Okay, pH scale is from 1 to 14, all right, where pH 7 is, um, is for neutral substances. And when the pH value uh, decreases from 7 to 1, the substance will be more acidic, which means pH 1 is the most acidic substance compared to pH 6. Or we say pH 1 uh, is strong acid while pH 6 will be weak acid. And then from 8 to 14, when you go uh, when when it moves from left to right, it will be more basic. Right? Or pH 14 is more alkaline compared to pH 8. Okay? And then okay, how do we use uh, our sensory organ? Okay, for example, acidic substance can be very corrosive if it if it touch our skin. Eh? Uh, neutral substance is not corrosive. Base substance is also corrosive. Okay, or we can we also call it caustic. And then what is the chemical equation for the reaction of an acid? Let's say acid react with a base. It will give you salt plus water. And this is the actually chemical equation. This is an equation for neutralization reaction. Same goes to base. Acid plus base, you get salt plus water, and this is the uh, reaction. Uh, this is a neutralization reaction. All right. Okay. So now, uh, I hope you understood what I've just explained about acid and base. Okay. Uh, please subscribe, like, and share my videos. Thank you.